five to switch on the block when it shoot one time like five rounds coming. Nigga, we big boss bumming. I bought a 15 pack in the spot, they bad and the topic, I'm the conversation. I got Grammy money, bitch, I'm nominated. Catch me. Wanna leave, her ex is a rat, but he wanna feed shit. Pay for the feature, she was just decent, I'll probably leak it. They got a problem, man, they're really gay. Leaving my impression, I'm the first one made it out my hood, and that's impressive. Cardi ain't my vision, and that skeleton like treasure. All right, yo, what's going on? It is your boy Q. But anyways, I dropped that FL Studio preset, and in that video, if you haven't seen it already, go watch it. I'll have the link down in the description below. But basically, I show you guys how to use stock plugins in FL Studio to get a really good vocal mix and pretty much sound like any artist you really want to with a few adjustments. And after I dropped that video, of course, a lot of you wanted a Pro Tools tutorial, which is actually the DAW of my choice when I am comping vocals and mixing artist vocals. And yeah, I was going to drop this a lot sooner, but it took me way too long to figure out how to record Pro Tools audio into OBS on Mac. It literally, it, it took me weeks. I could not figure it out for the longest time, but I finally figured it out. And in today's video, I'm going to be finally showing you guys Quentin Bobbitt Pro Tools template that I use for all the artists that I engineer. All right, so before we get into this, I just want to let you guys know we are going to be using Pro Tools. So if you don't know Pro Tools, this is probably going to look a little confusing to you because in my opinion, it's probably the doll with the biggest skill curve, the biggest initial skill curve. It's super hard to like understand exactly what's going on. So I'm not going to be going like this tutorial is not going to be a beginner tutorial. Realistically, if you know how to use Pro Tools, this is for you. But if you don't, this might be a little hard. If you guys do want a beginner Pro Tools tutorial in the future, let me know. I could always do that. But anyways, let's jump into this video and let me show you guys how I actually comp, engineer, and mix artist vocals in Pro Tools. Also, if this audio is messed up a little bit, my bad. I'm still trying to get everything to sound perfect. And for some reason, audio loop program that I'm using kind of distorts audio a little bit. I turned it down. I think it sounds good now, but I don't really don't know. So I guess I'll see when I edit this video. But anyways, here is the Pro Tools session with an artist I was working with in LA. His name is Warhol. Yeah, I haven't told you guys this yet, but Warhol is actually having me mix his album, album or EP that's coming out very soon. And the whole EP slash album will be mixed by me. And this song right here pulled up that I'm going to show you guys is called Granny House. And I can't show you too much because this is actually going to be on the album. But I'm basically going to show you guys how I recorded this and my vocal chant. So to start out, we have this track right here, which is my record track. Yeah, like I said, this is just my vocal track. So this chain is basically a, a simple down version of my entire chain. And I just have all these effects live for the artists. And um, yeah, so if I wanted to record, I would just set the mic up and I would hit command space bar and that would start the recording session. And then once we have a track, I just bring it down to the hook. And basically how I usually set up this template, <clears throat> you'll notice that I have, uh, I believe, a hook a background vocal thing called demon voice and then after that it's just a lead bud a lead bus background vox bus uh the entire vocal bus and your reverb one fourth delay one eighth delay i have an effects bus right here a mix bus that i've really never used in a master channel so now let's actually go into my vocal chain and i'll explain how this works so all these tracks right here are called the hook and basically what i do is i just duplicate the hook over kind of do this a little sloppily, but it's just the way I like to work. This hook track right here actually has no effects on it, and that's because it's routed to this lead bus, which is down here, which is the, in the initial bus that every single vocal goes into, besides the background vocals. But the lead bus is basically, it's this part right here is the exact same as the record track. And then we have our sends right here, which is, I have my reverb. And if you go to the actual reverb track right here, I'm using the Valhalla Vintage Verb. Basically how this works on the lead bus, when you have your reverb send, you uh, control the reverb, the amount of reverb on the track by adjusting this knob right here. Then of course we have a delay. I'm pretty sure I'm just using the effect rack delay. Let's see. Yeah. So this is my sound toys. So this lead bus then sends over to this Vox bus, which every single vocal in this template gets sent to this Vox bus at some point. And it's basically the finishing touches that I put on the vocal. <clears throat> so for example, the best way I could explain this is if you have your lead, which you want like more, like for example, when Warhol records in his lead bus or his lead track, the vocal is usually pretty dry and it's just compressed, make it sound loud and a lot fuller. And then we have a little bit of reverb on it. And then I send that sound to the vocal bus, which is where I just make everything sound a bit cleaner. But at the same time, we will have his background vocals or ad lib track, which is separate from the lead. 
which also gets sent into this box of this Vox bus. And this Vox bus, it looks like it's doing a lot, but all of these effects right here are pretty minimal. All right, yeah, so that is vocal chain. So now I'll show you guys how it sounds. So first thing I'm gonna do is, um, all right, so first thing I'm gonna do is actually just show you guys how his vocals sound raw. Yeah, so this is what his vocals sounds like raw. So, I mean, with the beat, you could barely even hear it. It's super, super quiet. So, as you can tell, I mean, even if you look at the waveform, the vocals everywhere, and it's just super flat. It's a super flat vocal. You can't even, like, hear what's going on too much. And then, once we add the actual vocal chain, it's when everything starts to sound a lot, lot better. Hey. Used to ride in rentals, crash the car, and switch it out. So, yeah, as you can tell, it already sounds so much better. So, yeah, I mean, the, the vocal with the whole chain is just way more rounded. Sounds a lot more cleaner takes out those low frequencies that sound super boxy and just actually makes the vocal cut through the mix. Yeah, so that's the vocal chain right there. And like I said, I use this for like every artist, every session I pull up. This is the template that I'm going to pull up. This one will look a little different than the template. I mean, the only difference really is going to be some of these duplicated hook tracks. And then obviously there won't be any of these vocals in here. I'm not going to give you a full song. But yeah, so I mean, the rest of this project, the only other thing I have on here is on the master. I have a maximizer by Waves is just the l1 uh, so yeah the l1 ultra maximizer and all i'm doing here is i'm pulling this threshold down and i set the out ceiling to minus one decibel minus 0.1 decibel and when you're actually on the master track adjusting this i keep this off while i'm recording vocals but once we actually want to hear it on the speakers loud i'll turn this back on i'll adjust the threshold and basically you don't want to go past minus six decibels of reduction like even right now, I'm pretty sure I'm only hitting like minus three to four. Yeah, that's that is the entire project. That's the whole template. That's the vocal chain. That is everything. And I think the special thing about this template is it has a super adjustable sound where you could really record any artist on here. Like I like I don't know if you guys know who Warhol is, but he's got kind of more of that like Chicago like street rapper sound. I would say he kind of has like a G Herbo vibe in my opinion. We also have this artist called Roki that we've been working with. I'll pull up one of his sessions. So this is another session I did with Roki and E True, uh, one of the internet money dudes. But um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like we went from Warhol, kind of like that more street Chicago rap, to something way more melodic like this. Yeah, so there's actually no beat behind that. It's just a melody. Uh, cause the way we did this was he just recorded to the melody and then we added the beat later. But yeah, like I said, this, this template is really super adjustable. You can do whatever you want. And with the pro tools template, I'm also going to drop the FL studio version, but with waves plugins. So now there are three total templates that you could grab. You got your FL studio stock. It does the same thing as this. It's just going to be a little weaker. You got your FL studio with waves, which is literally the same exact thing as this, just a different DAW. The only difference you're going to see there is your preference on how you like to work in each one which is i prefer i could do the same exact thing in fl studio but i prefer pro tool i prefer pro tools just because it works a little better for comping vocals which is basically recording and then the third template will be this new pro tools one that i'm dropping yeah that is it for this video if you guys want any of the templates i just mentioned i have a link in the description obviously and the top pinned comment will also have the link in there make sure you follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok I mean, why not? All of my ads are at Quentin Bobbitt. But yeah, like I said, that's all I got for this video. If you did learn anything or if you enjoyed this video at all, hit that like button. If you want to see more tutorials, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. I'll always be sure to do what you guys want to see. Pay attention to the next video because my next video I'm dropping will actually be a dime piece. There's going to be some real, real cool stuff that I'm dropping in there. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.